Homework 13 starts off with even and odd functions. An even function comes from graphing something like x squared. If I graph the graph x squared, it's a parabola, and it's that U shape that looks something like that. An even function is reflective across the y-axis. If I fold it right on the y-axis, they'd be right on top of each other each side. An odd function comes from graphing something like x cubed. An odd function, or the graph of x cubed, looks something sort of like that. They tell you that the graph of an odd function reflects across the y-axis, then the x-axis, and would end up right on top of each other. So if I reflected this across the y-axis, it would be coming up like this, and then if I flipped it back down here, then it's going to land down here right on top of this one. So kind of think about them having to be diagonally across from each other because they have to reflect across the y and then across the x and touch each other when you do that. So they want you to first of all look at your graphs and decide is it even, is it odd, or is it neither. So if I took this and I cut it in half across the y-axis, is it exactly the same on both sides? Yes, it is. So it is going to be an even function. If I were going to check the next one, if I cut it right in half along the y-axis, it's not exactly the same on both sides, nor does it go across and then back down diagonally, because then it'd have to be down in here, and so this one's going to be a neither function. So even you should be able to cut it across with the y-axis, Odd's going to end up being diagonally because I have to go the y and then the x. Now there's a second part to that. They also have some equations or some functions want you to say if it's even, odd, or neither. If I don't have any parentheses, absolute values, special symbols in there, I can basically just look at the exponents. If all of my exponents are even, it's an even function. If they're all odd, it's an odd function. Something with x to the 0 power is an even one. 0, 2, 4 are even. 1, 3, 5 are odd. So 4, 2, and 0 are all even. This is going to be an even function. 3 and 5 are both odd. It's going to be an odd function. Now another way to check if it's an even or an odd function is to plug in values that are opposite each other. 1 and 2 don't really work very nice because there's too many cases like when you square or take the absolute value that you end up with the same numbers. And so I like to use 3 and negative 3 for my test values. What you would want to do is do 4 times 3 to the 4th minus 2 times 3 squared minus 4 and find your answer. Then 4 times negative 3 to the 4th minus 2 times negative 3 squared minus 4 and find your answer. So if I do that, now I'm just going to use my calculator, 4 parentheses 3, close my parentheses, 2 to the 4th power minus 2 parentheses 3 parentheses squared minus 4 equals. I get 302. If I do the bottom one, 4 parentheses, negative 3 parentheses to the 4th, minus 2 parentheses, negative 3 parentheses squared, minus 4. Hey, I get 302. If I use my two opposite values, and you could do 3, 4, 5, bigger numbers than 1 or 2, but I like to use 3 and negative 3. If I get the same answer, it's an even function. We already knew it was an even function, but that's the way you test it if you can't tell by looking at it. So same thing over here if I test this one. Negative 2 times 3 to the 3rd plus 4 times 3 to the 5th and negative 2 times negative 3 to the 3rd plus 4 times negative 3 to the 5th. If I punch those in, let's see what happens. So negative 2 parentheses 3 close my parentheses cubed plus 4 parentheses, 3 parentheses to the 5th, gives me 918. If I do the bottom, negative 2 parentheses, negative 3 parentheses cubed, plus 4 parentheses, 
negative 3 parentheses to the fifth. I get negative 9 18. So notice on these values, these values I have the same number, but they're opposites. When I plug in my two opposite values, if my answers are opposites, then it's an odd function, which we already knew. But sometimes you can't tell by looking at the equation, so you have to do the test. And I like to use 3 and negative 3. If you get the same number, it's even. If you get opposite numbers, it's odd. If you get two numbers that have nothing in common, it's neither. So on number 2, if I'm looking at that one, it is not split across the y-axis, otherwise it would have to go up this way. And it's not split across the y and then the x because it would have to be going through the middle section. So this one's going to be a neither function. There's my cubic function, I can tell by looking at it. But here, if I split it here, this would go up like this. And then if I split it here, this is going to flip down here. If I could draw straight, that's my odd function. If you can think of in your mind, if it were on a piece of paper, if you fold it this way, then fold it this way, it would end up right on top of there. The next one I'm looking at and I'm saying, okay, is it even, is it odd, is it neither? Well, I know this is to the first power, so it's odd. This is to the zero power. Zero power means, oh, one's, even, or one's odd and one's even, so I'm going to have to pick neither on this one. But if I really wasn't sure, I'd do my test. 2 times 3 minus 3, and 2 times negative 3 minus 3. Putting in 3 and negative 3 for my x's. So 6 minus 3 is 3, negative 6 minus 3 is negative 9. You can see, oh yeah, I get two answers that have nothing in common. It's definitely an either. Here again, I have a squared and I have a zero. Zero is counts as an even. So it is an even function, but if I wasn't sure, 2 times 3 squared plus 4 and 2 times negative 3 squared plus 4. So 3 squared is 9, 9 times 2 is 18, 18 plus 4 would be 22. Here, negative 3 squared is 9, 2 times 9 is 18 and 18 plus 4 is 22. So if I do my 3 and my negative 3, I get the exact same answer. I know it's an even function. And if we look at the third one, looking at this one, again, it goes over here, then flips down here. That is an odd function. But it's in diagonal quadrants of each other, which gives you a good idea. This one, if it were right at the middle at 0, 0, it would be an even function. But it's not at 0, 0. It doesn't split in half. It's going to end up being a neither function. Now this one, when you look at it, you might think, oh, it has an odd exponent. But because it has that parentheses, you'd either have to take negative x minus 4 times negative x minus 4 times negative x minus 4 and get rid of the parentheses or just do our test. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the test. I'm going to have minus 3 minus 4 cubed. And then I'm going to have minus a negative 3 minus 4 cubed. So this is going to give me negative 3 minus 4, which is negative 7. I have to cube negative 7. So negative 7 to the third power is negative 343. On this one, when I do minus a negative 3, it becomes positive 3. 3 minus 4 is negative 1, and negative 1 cubed is negative 1. I don't get the same answers, that's going to be a neither function. So if it has parentheses, absolute values, a fraction, anything other than a regular straight across function, I have to do my check to make sure this one ends up being neither. Now this one I should be able to look at and say, oh, it's to the fourth and to the second, both of those are even, should be an even function. You can check it if you want to, but it should end up that if you do check it, you get the same number twice.